Hi, I'm David Kornguth at Golden Gate Cancer Center bringing you another video about prostate cancer. Today's video concerns the issue where men have had surgery for prostate cancer, a so-called radical prostatectomy. And one of the most common sort of misconceptions that I see is that men will say, hey, I had my prostate removed. How can there be still some prostate cancer left over? Well, to understand why, you have to understand two basic ideas or things about the surgery and about the nature of prostate cancer. Well, as long as all prostate cancer cells are located within that specimen that's removed, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be cancer free. The problem with sort of prostate cancer is that it's a freaking cancer in the sense that there's a possibility that microscopic cells can migrate outside that prostate into the tissue just beyond that sort of uh, wall or capsule of the prostate. And we call that extra capsular extension or extra prostatic extension. And these are things or cells that you cannot see. The other thing about prostate cancer is that when these cells migrate either to that space outside the prostate or to lymph nodes or bone, they still make PSA. There's kind of two situations where I, as a radiation oncologist, see men who have had radical prostatectomy. The so-called adjuvant setting, meaning sort of initially after the surgery where there's pathology report indicates a problem. The most common thing that you're going to want to look at on your pathology report is whether or not there was a so-called positive margin. Well, what does that mean? When they remove the prostate, they're going to take it to a lab and the lab's going to put a bunch of ink around the outside of that specimen so that when they sort of slice it and dice it, they can tell what was at the sort of outside edge of what was removed. Now, if there's cancer cells going up to that so-called inked margin, we know for sure there's gonna be some prostate cancer cells left behind in the patient. Second situation that I was referring to where men need radiation is where they've had the radical prostatectomy, they met with the surgeon afterwards, the pathology report looks good and the surgeon says, I think I got it all. The, the PSA is undetectable three or four months after surgery, but then about a year and a half, two years later, that PSA starts creeping up. Well, what does that mean? It means that there's some prostate cancer somewhere, but you don't exactly know where because you know these things are microscopic. Yes, it could be in the vicinity where the prostate used to be in which radiation is gonna very successfully be able to cure you. But if it is coming from lymph nodes or bone, then that can be much more difficult to cure. And so we do these PET scans, but again, PET scans can't see microscopic disease. So oftentimes we'll treat those patients with a combination of hormonal suppression plus radiation, hoping that what we're treating completely eliminates it. And that sometimes can work, but unfortunately some of these patients are still gonna have a recurrence down the road because there was some microscopic disease that had spread further away than we had anticipated. So these are the kind of main ways that we see patients in that post-prostatectomy setting. I encourage you and all patients to actually talk with their urologist about surgery and especially afterwards, maybe even ask to talk to a radiation oncologist if, if the surgeon feels that it's appropriate. If you like this video, please click the like button and I'll be making more content.